Wow, it's pretty dark out. Oh wow, she's a beaut this morning. Oh, I definitely need to get a time lapse rolling. Time lapse. <laughs> Can we get a time lapse? <laughs> Take the keys. Black and red rod in there. It's mine. That's mine. Nope. Yeah. Nope. You think you could just take that? I one? well, buddy gave it to me today. He's like, hey, you should try this rod out. It's good. Thanks. Nah, and he gave I'll, it to me. Okay, well, I'm going down there and take it. No, you're not. No, I am. What'd you say? What are you doing? I'm going. I'm gonna smoke your ass. There's nothing more daunting than trying to catch fish 3,000 miles away from home. Fishing the Amazon has really kind of tested Peric and I, especially yesterday, but this morning is our time to shine. We've gotten the feel for the peacocks. We're starting to kind of ease into the Amazon scene, the Amazonia scene, and I think today is the day that we finally crack them open. Scott and Peric are gonna be fishing together today while I'll be fishing with Darius. I'm gonna go with this guy, and then we're hopefully gonna crank some fish hey guys. today. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it to it. Are we leaving right now? I think so. Okay, let's right. go. Let's go. <laughs> Later, man. Later. Peace. Later, guys. You can catch some big ones, just make sure he doesn't. Yeah, well, sounds good. Day two begins now. Switch up the uh, the small spotters for some some pea goggles today. That sounded like way better in my head. The basis of today's video, yes, of course, we're on the Amazon. We want to catch as many peas as possible, but we're switching things up to make it more interesting for you guys. Darius and I are on this little boat right now, still with Alfredo, our man Alfredo on the back. While we're gonna catch some peacocks, we're gonna be going head to head up against Scott and Peric. Goal is to catch the biggest three peacock bass, and we're gonna weigh them just like a normal bass tournament, only these are peacock bass. Before we get kicked off, I wanna welcome you guys to day number two on the Amazon River. That's a decent one. Big? Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Big fish. This is my first bite of the day, and it's a freaking nice one. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a giant. It's dude, it's massive. <laughs> it's massive. It's a massive fish. It's so big. <laughs> Very big, very big. Oh my God. You got this Alfredo. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> How big do we got? How big is this fish? Right at 10 pounds. That is a brute. <laughs> they fight so much different when they get this big. You ready? Yeah. My God. Look at that. <laughs> that is one way to start. Day two here in the Amazon. My biggest peacock bass ever. Just annihilated that hair jig. Look at that hair jig just sticking out his mouth. I'm gonna take him out of the grips real quick. His head this, is bigger than your head. Bro. Yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty too. Yeah, we're gonna get this guy unhooked. This fish right here is gonna help us so much for this little derby that we're doing with Scott and Perrick. This is a good first fish to start the day. 70? Back there? Yeah, he's gonna get us closer. This dolphin's on the prowl. Yeah. That was one serious fight, man. <laughs> On the lips, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back in the water, pea goes. Big old pea. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Holy smokes. There it is. Nice job, man. All right. Pound it. Boom. Boom. That's what's up. Oh, that bee really likes this reel, though. He likes the reel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh, dear God. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a fish we can weigh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, he came unhooked. He's barely hooked. I'll grab him. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Good one. Look at that. Just <laughs> annihilated the popper. Oof. Wood chopper fish. Okay. Weight on this fish is. Ready? We got five pounds. We are at 17 pounds right now. Whew. That was a serious fight right there. Oh my God, the way he hit, I thought it was like a freaking 20 pound. That was the most vicious strike I think I've ever gotten, period. Next to like a GT strike, that was unbelievable. Vicious. Here he goes. The reason why Alfredo throws him into the wood like that, I know it looks pretty bad, but he's actually making sure they don't get eaten by the dolphin because the dolphin's out here in the open, but when you release the peacocks in the woods, in the woods, in the brush, then they can't get, uh, Shop. Oh my god, look at my cord. I just broke it. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I feel enlightened after that. I didn't want to call it a topwater blow up. It's past that. It's like a topwater eruption, an implosion. Is that a good way to explain it? An it implodes? Is an implosion? Was that a word? You're past topwater strike stage. It makes your knees just weak. That's the reason why I go after GTs and why I've like gone all the way to Africa to do that kind of stuff. And that's why these peacocks are so much fun. Something like that really gets you feeling sentimental. I had to sit down, turn the camera on. I also want to let you guys know, for our best three right now, Darius and I have 17 pounds of peacock bass. Mm. I'm gonna get back to throwing the chopper. This thing is a freak, man. Absolute freak. Let's catch some more. What the hell was that? Like this? Like that? Ooh, I like that. This reminds me of the $1 popper. Ah, there he is. Current time is 10.30. We've been fishing for about, what is that, four hours? Throwing a lot of baits. I'm now throwing this, this big saltwater popper. It's called a Barracundinda. Reminds me a lot of the $1 BPS popper. It's got that same noise. Oh, buddy. You got a good one, don't you? Tighten that drag maybe just a bit. Uh-oh, get him out of there. Crank, 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 crank. That's a big one. Big one. He says, take it easy just a little bit. Oh man, Darius has got a freaking toad. We need this fish so bad. There he is, right there, right there. Do you still feel it a little bit or what do you think? Oh, he's on there still. Yeah, just get ready for him. He might come, you know, right back out. He's on, he's still on there. Yeah. Is he on, is he off? He's off. He's off, dang it. He went under and then under that. We just lost another big one. Definitely one that we needed for this little, for the Amazonian Derby. That was a chunk right off of this. Or he came right there. It's like just that initial hit, you need to like, for these fishes, like you just gotta get them out. Then once they're out, yeah, exactly. loosen up a bit. Yeah, that was, that was vicious. That was a begging. Okay. Nice. There we go. That was Brad. That's a good one. Long fish. In the boat. Another pee on the top water. Okay, buddy. <laughs> we just have a hard time filming videos like this when the fishing is like really good and we're going through so many catches and we're hooking lots of fish. Like I can't put all of this in a video. I mean, you guys will be bored. I'll be bored editing this. Long story short, today is one of those days where it's gonna be a 12 hour day. We woke up at 5.30 and we're gonna end right, what, right around like 6 p.m. Yeah. So you get the gist. I mean, it's gonna be a really long day, a lot of footage. I've already gone through one SD card here and that's like four hours of just straight rolling catches and misses and overwhelming out here. So much footage. You're not gonna see the whole day, unfortunately. But the cool stuff, the stuff I think is interesting, even aside from fishing, is gonna go into this video you're watching right now. Uh, we're pulled up on the side of the bank um, because uh, Alfredo had to take a, a deuce, I had to drop a deuce. He's not gonna take one, he's gonna leave a deuce. And uh, we're gonna get back to fishing. We're still doing the derby, we're still looking for a big fish, but it's just kind of slowed down. It's not a very productive cut back here. That or we just, our momentum slowed down, I'm not sure. Maybe the, maybe the both, maybe the same. Good? Yes. And continues the peacock mission. We out of here. Poop sesh over. Up there, he's selling bust. Big fish.
Oh, big, 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 big fish. No good. He's in. Okay, okay, okay. Don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm doing something. Big, still on. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh my God. Please still be on. Yeah, just slowly winding. Yep. I don't know if it's still on. Fishy? No? See? It's off, I think. It's gone. Oh. I think it's off. Oh! Oh! He's still on, he's still on. Yeah, yeah. Jesus! Did you see that? You probably heard it. Oh, oh, oh! He's behind us. Holy sh! Oh, he's right behind us. It's a giant, dude. It's, he's still, he's right there. Oh! The fish, yeah. You got it? Okay. What am I supposed to do? This is a mess. Yeah, this is huge. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> wow. Holy sh! Thank you. Obrigado. Wow. This was quite a fight. That fish got me wrapped up in these trees, came out the other end. Alfredo grabbed the line, pulled it in with his hands, and then out comes the fish. That was a disaster. That was just a freaking mess. Oh, how big is this puppy? Not quite 10. Nine and a half. Yeah, still a giant fish. Okay, Bertha's going back in the water. Just an absolute toad. See you, Bubba. We have, we have a five. We got a five, a 10, and a nine and a half. That's what we have. Total score for us, for our boat, is the 24, 24 and a half for three peacock bass. Not bad, I thought for sure that was gonna break 10. Yeah, it was almost a DD. Alfredo called it too, he's like, big fish over here, big fish. Sure enough, threw over there. Both times, right? Okay, let's keep going. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm blitzed right now. Anyway, that was uh, pure insanity. We were just on the other side of this little tiny little vine island of some trees and vines <clears throat> and as we were coming around alfredo pointed that fish out saw it jump kept casting kept casting finally on i think like the fifth or sixth cast got kind of close to the the thickets thicky goodness and uh, that's when that fish destroyed and you just know if you ever have a chance to fish with peacocks if you've ever done it before you just know when it's a big fish um i kind of to be quite honest to bed there i thought for sure the fish was done i literally set the rod down i was like already whining and complaining and then all of a sudden zoop, 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 starts running out uh, and alfredo takes this paddle where's the paddle Can I see the he takes this dope paddle and he starts digging around there separating the line from the wood because when you're using braid that braid will actually cut into the wood and cinch in there it makes it harder for the angler to get that fish up and out of there so he does he takes his paddle digs it down there pushes the line out from the wood and then the fish comes out luck was definitely on my side there um I had some good fortune on that another one for the books almost a double digit just a half a pound short what's very good in portuguese muito bom. Muito bom. would be very would be muito bom if we got one more bacon ah he comes, he comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yes God, I love it when they eat top water. Ooh. Ooh, look how pretty this one is. Gorgeous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> look at that. You guys see that big old caiman right there? It's relative to the alligator. I think he wants my peacock. Sure. Go back. Just. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> God, I don't know why you would want to catch him any other way. Oh, heads up. Ooh, you good? Oh, it's the most intense way to catch them is top water. It's crazy too because these peacocks are running packs or schools or whatever you want to call them, and they're really, really keen on points. Every single good-looking point we've pulled up to this trip has had hungry-ass fish on it. Yeah. Oh boy, that's a good. Fish. Yeah, just for a sec, like just a second. It's like too long. Easy release. Forty-five, maybe forty-six. I don't know. Mm-mm. There we go. Oh. Oh, look at that. Bait is just so messed up. Gorgeous. Fist bump pee. Bye-bye. Oh, that's a lot of rain. It's getting wet. Thank God I brought a rain jacket. Oh, there you go.
you go. I thought that. Holy hell, I feel like I went through hell and back. Oh my god, I feel dusty. Oh, right, come here. Now it's time for me to roast you. Yeah, I was yeah. I was ready to get roasted, but now it's time. How many fish did you catch today? Total. 118. Okay, so we we lost count, but it was probably around like 70 or something like that. These guys beat us in the numbers. Now I want to hear what was your top three peacock bass? What were your biggest? Six and a half, six and a half, and six and a half. <laughs> <sighs> so what'd you think of day two in the Amazon? Dude, I love this place, but. I've never like I've honestly never caught so many fish like in my life in one day, and I've never been so tired from fishing. Wait, that was 12, 13 like, hours, yeah, right? It like a, ah, you all right? Ew. Jeez, my toe! Oh, you all right, dude? No. So the day ends here. Unfortunately, Perrick and Scott did not. I'm surprised actually. They oh, did wow. not wow. beat us wow. in this challenge. Wow. That's it. We're done. You guys have heard of swamp ass. I have jungle ass right now. I'm like moist in every single crevice possible. Yeah, She's like, I don't want. I don't want to listen to you talking while I'm taking a. You don't want me to talk to you while you're pooping? No. That doesn't soothe you? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was a little weird. It's kind of probably all over the place. There's a few times where I was like, am I even still recording? What's going on? Are we even fishing? But I hope this video turned out very well for you guys. Day two is complete. The next few days in the Amazon will be very different. I think we're gonna switch things up, not necessarily go just for peacock bass in the future. Try to expand because there are like 3,000 something species of fish here. And we want to start capitalizing on some of those strange alien fish that lurk in this water right there. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the morning.